Hey there guys, and welcome back to Nimby Rails. Um, I'm recording back to back with the last episode, and as I'm still not in the mood to be doing more of Ireland, continuing with fixing areas of the UK. So I'm going to have a look at Southampton today. The aim is to get all the way along to Portsmouth, but it may take a full episode just to do the Southampton section. We shall see. There's quite a lot going on, what with the freight port, I guess, the cargo ship. I, w I really want to call it a ferry port, and it's not, because they're not ferries. <laughs> what on earth is going on here? Um, I, I'm at a complete loss. Is there a node? There. That's probably the node I want. There we go. I, I think I'm working it out. That comes down here. This one comes down. This one comes down. This one down. That down. That up a bit. That will have to do. That's the best I'm getting it. And then I've got to try and sort out everything over here as well. This is the problem with four track sections. This is where the main issues have arisen from the coordinates system changing. Anyway, you've got four tracks going on. Everything breaks. Uh, also a bit bothered by my priority line through there, but okay. I think I've worked it out. That comes down. That goes up a bit. That goes up a lot. The outer one comes way down. Honestly, it's going to be easier just to move it completely out of the way. Then get the main line centre four aligned how I want them, then move it back into place. Uh, is it that node? There we go. So if I pull that down, that sort of lines up the main four. None of the crossovers are lined up, but that's fine. Everything else works. So then I can push this bottom line back up a little bit towards it, albeit that needs to be pulled down a bit. Try and neaten it up somewhat. That can come up, and that can go up. There we go. And then the top side, we've got this line. It comes in there. That's fine. Then it's the crossovers. So that straightens out a bit. This one straightens out a lot. And we have the scissor crossing. So down. Everything moves. There we go. Off the other side of the scissor crossing. And another one. That was actually not too bad that one in and that one down to get into the platform and then that's to go into the siding all good we've made it to the station and that is an achievement in of itself equally i did couldn't help but notice i didn't really have to deal an awful lot with the freight port um i, I did massively simplify that as it turns out this should be okay. The junction isn't actually too bad here, he says. Then realising it starts all the way back there, and that maybe it is a bit worse than he anticipated. But that's fine. There we go. That's all sorted. It's nice on that side. They're not too close together. Good. Through the tunnel, out the other side, 
and we're back to four tracks again. Always fun. Pull that down a bit. I'm just going to have a look down here. I can't remember what happens. Oh, they just end there. That's nice. That saves me a bit of effort. Um, weirdly, looking like it's going to end up easier just to pull the... Actually, I'll be honest, I say it's going to end up easier to do one thing over anything else, but I have no idea what's going on with the different tracks here. Uh, that can come way out. How how many tracks are there? And which ones are the main ones? So, two tracks come in. Okay, I see. So this is a loop for the depot on the right, and the other four are the main line. That's fine. And by loop, I mean siding, as it turns out. That crossover's fixed. That one's fine. This is a bit of a mess still. So that can move across. That can be neatened up. This can have a great deal done with it. There we go. We can now get into the depot. They're fine. They're actually a nice distance apart. Um, they get a bit close together here. Is there something I can do about that? Short of running all the way back there. Where's the next node? Is it there? Okay, that'll have to do. Uh, these are some very short crossovers, aren't they? I know Portsmouth and Southampton is one of the first areas I built, I think. Well, it was one of the first areas I built on the first iteration of the map. The second iteration I may have started in Cornwall, I can't remember. Because <laughs> um, so obviously I had to restart with beta 1.2 when tracks went from always double to singles. And that messed up a lot of my route, a lot of my map. Um, I'm quickly going to pop up to Eastley for completion's sake. Just because I did the Chalmers Ford branch last time and I can do the Botley Hedge End branch now. And it sort of completes the area. The game just lagged an in incredible amount there. And I have no idea why, but it flung me across Eastley Depot. Uh, that, I mean, it's not the worst. Let's give ourselves a little more room to play with. So, that comes across from the platform. That comes across from the other platform. We need to give ourselves plenty of room to play here. Where's my next node? It's that one. It's that one. Where's my next? Do I not? I must have. There it is, that node. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm sure I must have a node there. Um, it's just working out which one it is and which one's the main line. That probably always looked a bit weird, hasn't it? Using a curved platform would probably help there, but they are a lot of effort to implement. I'll leave the... Well, will I leave the top end for now? I and mean, the answer is no, because I, I need to look at that first, really. I'm going to pull it that way and that way. God, that is such a mess. Hang on, I think what we might have an issue with is... How do I... This used to be something I can do. If they changed one of the control binds, uh, one of the key binds. I just want to change the gap from the parent. So... Alt and drag any select control point to rotate the selection. Left click, that's a new one I think. Left click on control points to reset. Shift left click to add or remove points. Control C to copy. Insert to change into blueprints yet, yeah, that's what I'm using. Delta delete makes sense. 
Let's go to cancel, yeah, control Z to undo. No, there's no extra key bind then. I just want to... Because it's bound off that node. It's a parent node. Well, it's parented, even. But I'm not allowed to alter how far away from that one it is, which is a bit mean. Oh, yeah, maybe, oh I just have to click insert. Okay, I mean, that has changed, actually, that, that menu. Okay, I should be able to do it at this end as well, then. 10 metres. That menu changing might actually be useful, because that kind of suggests you might be in a point where it won't automatically reset to have a value if you have zero entered at any point. Because that was a pain. Um, we'll do that. It's still rather tight, but... I'm quite limited on space, all things considered. Um, that out. That out. I'll have to take a look at crossovers in a second. I want to get up to Shawford, where it goes down to double track. But actually, having said that, I might not have to go all that way. I was expecting the quad track to be a problem all the way up, but I doesn't look like it's going to be which is nice unusual but nice just fix that crossover fix this mess of a crossover uh, was that it are they the only two there's one there that I've already done um, that all seems fine they're far enough apart that's all good. Oh, they're really far apart up here, actually. I really went for it with the spacing. That's fine. And... That's fine. Cool. Up to Shawford's done. Uh, right, coming off this way. It goes down to single track again after Botley, I do believe. Were passengers happy at Hedge End? It was unusual. It's only like an hourly service through here. It's one of the least frequent on the map at the moment. And that's if I've set it up, which is not a given, let's be honest. Uh, yeah, that that's good enough. Onto the single track. And that continues down until Fairham, which is going to... Probably needs some work, although having said that, everything looks fine. I'm going to have to mess about with a couple of signals. Like so, but apart from that, everything is good. Well, I'll just do the coastal route now quickly. Out of St. Dennis, across, Bittern. I mean, this is just single track. There is a crossover at Alston, although I haven't put it in. Scholling and onwards. This should all be fine. There shouldn't be any more junctions around here. Swanwick and to Fairham. Out the other side of Fairham, everything's fine. Just down to double track as per normal. Through Portraiture and Cosham. And we end up heading towards Portsmouth. So we'll just check the triangle quickly. This is going to need some work. Uh, that has pulled it off enough that I don't have to redo the signals. This side is the main bit I'm worried about. But actually, it doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, that'll do. Down here, that's fine. Through Hillsea. And then the Fratton Approach. This is again where it's going to get a bit more complicated. As we get all the depot lines. 
and the entire thing is on a corner. Really, in a way, fratting could, be, could do with being ripped up and done again with the curved platforms, but actually, it didn't fit in too badly by the looks of it. Not really sure how I managed that one. Um, I'm also not really sure what's going on with the points here. I have to pull that out quite a bit by the looks of it, because it's a whole extra track appearing. That's fine. These need to be spread out a bit more, but apart from that, they're fine. Uh, they all come in there. They've always been quite close together. Um, that's just the nature of the corner coming out of the station. So that's all good. Coming along here, I feel like there's some amount of track work missing. <laughs> Looking at it, but it's it's track work that's only used by ECS moves, and as I don't really have that functionality in NIMBY Rails, I only schedule the standard passenger services, and they always operate 24/7, no breaks which I'm sure the passengers are a massive fan of. I don't have to worry about ECS moves. Then coming down, Portsmouth Harbour is obviously going to need a little bit of a fix. Um, though honestly, that's probably done it. Okay. I'm quickly going to go along up to Haven't, because I feel like... That makes sense. So through Bedhampton, check the crossovers this side of Haven't. This feels like it would be a sensible place to stop. That's why I've come up here, rather than just ending in Portsmouth. Because this is where the line splits again. So, just have a look at that. Obviously that signal needs moving. There we go, build all blueprints. So, slightly shorter this time. <laughs> Didn't take quite as long. Hopefully, I don't know what I'm going to be doing for next week yet. That's still a while away for me. Might be his live stream, might be a video, might be more of this, might be more of Ireland, might be some of Scotland, we'll see. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, want more, and I'll catch you in the next one.